Hello class. In this video, I'll talk about Pathfinder tool, and we'll create these two logos together. So the first one um, is the Adidas logo. The second one, I reference the Google Chrome logo. Let's start with this uh, Chrome logo. All right. So I'll start with a ellipse tool, and I can for the stroke, I can do um, black color. Fill color with blue is fine, since I'll change it definitely. Um, so now we'll draw a circle. However, as you can see, it's not a rounded shape circle. So what you'll do is uh, hold down the shift key. So you can hold down the width and the height. OK, so this is the first one. And then we'll draw second one. And the second one should be slightly smaller than the first one. All right. and. Now let's bring it into here. First, select both of them and go to Window and Align. We will align them through the center. OK, here we go. So now select the center one and hold down Shift K. So after you hold down Shift K, when you move your object, see, you will move vertically or horizontally, right? So hold down Shift key and move it up until you reach the point that it says intersect. See, let me show you again. So move it up, and then see it also intersect. So now that means our small circle intersect with the bigger one. It has a contact point at here. If you don't see the reference grid, just go to the view and make sure you check on Smart Guides. So now we get the first one. Hold on the Option key first. All right, so now we made a duplication. And then hold down Shift-K and, and bring it down until you reach a point that says intersect. All right, so now let me du duplicate this one. Uh, hold on Option-K again, move it up, and then release. And then just move it until you reach a point that says intersect. All right, hold on Option-K again, duplicate it, and then move it toward this side. And when you reach the point, it intersect. So that means it intersect with the uh, four corners. So now we'll select the whole thing. And we'll go to Pathfinder tool. If you can't see it, just go to Windows and make sure you check on Pathfinder. And put cursor on this one, it'll say divide. Click on that. So basically what will happen is it will divide all of the shapes we overlapped. With the selection tool highlighted, and it's so now, as you can see, I cannot select the individual pieces. So because it divided all the pieces into smaller pieces, but uh, they grouped it together. So we have to right-click on that and ungroup. So now deselect. And after you ungroup, um, now we can select the smaller pieces, right? So small this one, hold down Shift-K to add selection. Select the second one, Shift-K, and select the third one, fourth one. And we can go to the color panel. So this time, we would like to apply, uh, maybe we can start with a, uh, a green color. OK, and then start from here, and select these pieces. And we can give it a red color. And then the third one, we can give it a yellow color. And fourth one, we can give it a Maybe just a blue color. And we can denote the centerpiece. So now we have the outline. All right, but uh, these all are smaller pieces. So what I'll do need to do is select um, you know the pieces with the same color again. So as you can see, if you put a cursor on the shape modes, you'll find the U light tool. So if you click on U light, you'll U light all the pieces together. Right, all the selected pieces together. Uh, and then select the red pieces and you light and yellow pieces. And here. Alright. So now I you lighted all of the pieces that with the same color. And let's see. If you don't want a black stroke, what you can do is select all of them. Right? Because all of the pieces they have different colors, so 
the field counter it doesn't show up, but they have the same stroke. So if you remove the stroke, this is how it looks, right? And we can also use stroke. However, instead of black color stroke, we can do white color stroke. So that provides the edge of the logo, right? Um, and you can also, let's see, for the stroke, we can go to the stroke and and go to the stroke and show options and we can make it thicker for example if I do three this is how it looks right and let's keep it as a two and you can also do different brushes as I show you in the earlier class if I go to um, brushes so you can apply a different brush for it this is how it looks it's more kind of hand drawing style right Okay, I really like it, so I'll keep how it looks. Um, and also, instead of use a flat color, uh, what you can what you can do is you can give it a gradient. Okay, so first one is a, a greenish color, so you can go to here, the gradient palette, and we can give it a green color. But here it only has black and white and green color, so that is because the color mode is set to grayscale by default so we just have to switch to RGB and we can give it a green color for that side alright and same thing for this color we can give it a darker green okay, so now we'll have this nice gradient maybe uh, the light green color I'll just make it brighter a little bit brighter okay so now same thing for the um, red color we can just click on this gradient tool and it'll, it'll change the color to RGB color by default. And you can double click on this color and select like a red and then a darker red color. Right, so we have this gradient. And same thing for the yellow. And a yellowish color. And then a darker yellow color and a blue gradient and a light blue color and the darker blue color okay so now we just make the logo more kind of 3d building. and let's start with the second one let me move it to the side we'll switch back to fill color as a, a pure flat color and stroke let's do black color stroke okay and we'll use the ellipse tool again and start the drawing and hold down shift key to keep the proportion and then switch back to selection tool and hold down option key and make a duplication and while you are moving it to the side you can hold down shift key so you can move horizontally right or if uh, you made it off center you can select both of them and go to the align and align them through the center this way. Alright, so now select both of them and go to the Pathfinder and we'll divide all of them and then we'll ungroup, right? And deselect. And now you can denote those pieces you don't want. And here's the leaf. And we can change the stroke as long and the fill color as as pure black. Okay, so now we get the first leaf. And we can hold on um, option key and make a duplication. And we can uh, rotate it. So now I will bring the second leaf to the other side and I'll make uh, this logo symmetry. So what I'll do is select the second leaf and we'll go to the rotation tool, but hold down, click on that and hold down and switch it to reflect tool. And with the reflect tool, um, we can hold down the option key. If it is on Windows computer, you can just hold down the alt key. All right. So on um, my computer, hold down Option key, and then click on the reference point. So I would like to reflect based on this point. And then in the option, um, we'll see vertical, because we want to flip it vertically. And click on Copy, so it will make a duplication. So now it brings it to another side. right? So switch back to Selection tool. So we'll use the Rectangular tool, and we'll draw uh, a shape. And uh, we can change the fill color as a blue, so it's more kind of uh, 
identical to us. And we can place it on our logo, right, the first one. And then hold the Option key and make a duplication and place it however you want. And then hold the Option key and make a duplication again. And this time, it'll uh, remind us when we move to a location that has the same distance as the first two, right? So now let's um, select the whole thing. And we'll use the Pathfinder Divide. And then right click and ungroup and deselect. Now we should be able to right, denate all the individual pieces. So I'll select all of the blue pieces and denate. And here the smaller one. So now, as you can see, these are all um, individual pieces. Right? And if you want, you can group them together. So this is our logo.